Katie. Welcome to Android Dialogues, where we have bite-sized conversations with people in the Android community. I'm Gwen Twet Dow, and I'm speaking with... Ryan Harder. So um, we're actually in Denver, Colorado, where we're both here for 360 and Dev. Uh, we're both speaking. But Ryan, where are you based, and how'd you get started in Android? So I'm based out of Chicago, Illinois. Uh, and I got started uh, six or seven years ago with Android. I was actually uh, a Mac desktop developer, and then I was an iOS developer. And then uh, the company I worked for needed uh, some Android developers, so I jumped in, um, became the lead Android developer there, and then I and then I sort of broke out and went independent. So um, what you're talking about tomorrow is I'm going to be talking about uh, annotation processing code generators. There's like one particular annotation that I know you kind of done some work on uh, recently, and that's auto value. That's correct. And for those uh, out in the audience who don't know what auto value is and what it's for, can you kind of uh, give us a rundown? Yeah, so auto value is an annotation processor that generates code for you to help you make immutable value types. Uh, so these are types that might be um, user types, credit cards, uh, transactions, anything like that, uh, where the actual um, Java instance doesn't determine equality. Uh, equality is determined by if the name is Ryan Harder in two objects, those objects are equal. Um, immutability means that uh, these objects, once they're created, can't be changed. And this has a lot of benefits. It gives you, um, it gives you thread safety uh, directly out of the, out of the box. Um, and it's really easy to work with and makes things really reliable. Uh, so AutoValue is a tool that allows you to put simple annotations on your code and uh, generate all of this boilerplate code for you. In terms of like getting started with it, how easy is it? Yeah, it's really easy to get started with. All you have to do is make an abstract class and then put the AutoValue annotation on it. Um, once you do that, any, any getter methods on that class, uh, just make those abstract. Don't worry about the implementation and AutoValue will take care of that for you. Uh, once you get there, then um, everything AutoValue generates is package private mm -hmm. by default. Um, one of the ideals there is to keep the implementation, the fact that you're using AutoValue, uh, private. Users don't need to know or care about that. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we use to deal with that, uh, since these are abstract classes, is uh, static factory methods. Awesome. So I, I know, like in kind of like in my personal adventure into immutable objects, that a lot of times you'll use things like builder pattern and, and other notions like that. Can you do that with auto value? Absolutely. Awesome. Um, so there's an extra annotation called auto value dot builder oh. uh, that you simply create your own uh, abstract builder class, mm -hmm. annotate it with that, and just like your auto value immutable value type, it'll generate all of the code behind the scenes to create a, a builder for you. And uh, while builders seem fairly easy, uh, there's a lot of complexity around validating properties, making sure that things that are non-nullable are in fact not null when mm -hmm. you try to build it. Mm -hmm. And AutoValue takes care of all that for you. Are there any kind of like good practices? Like, I mean, I know that there are good practices in general when you're trying to develop with immutable objects. Is there anything specific to AutoValue that you can share with us that might be like kind of good things to do when you're using it? Um, yeah. So. So one of the things that people tend to do is uh, you can convert from an auto value value type to a builder and back. And that, uh, that makes it really easy to change values mm -hmm. on an immutable value type. But one of the things that you need to remember is that these, these types are immutable for a reason. Mm. Uh, so you don't want to be resetting the same property over and over because you lose a lot of your thread safety. Awesome. OK, cool. Um, so that's a kind of an interesting kind of dovetail because um, so auto value is just one kind of annotation processor, um, but there are like a lot of different libraries now that you know kind of take um, kind of take advantage of this like this kind of boilerplate like elimination and, and and giving you this functionality kind of much more naturally. Um, what are some of your other favorite like annotation like libraries? Well, so uh, first thing I need to mention is that with auto value, there's extensions. Ooh. So auto value uh, can do just about anything you want. So. Um, the extension support for AutoValue is actually the contribution that I made. And then I've got some extensions uh, if you want Android parcelables uh, for free without having to write all of that parcelable boilerplate code. Yay! <laughs> um, you simply make your AutoValue type implement parcelable, mm -hmm. and it'll take care of everything behind the scenes. Wow, nice. The same goes for uh, Mashi or JSON. Uh, if you use those for JSON deserialization, mm -hmm. uh, there's also some others um, for cursors, working with database cursors and that mm -hmm. sort of thing. Um, so there's extensions that allow you to really extend auto value and do some more. 
Um, if you don't want all of auto value, maybe you don't want immutable value types, mm -hmm. um, but you do want to work with uh, with parcelables. There's mm -hmm. uh, there's tools like Parceler. Um, there's also some uh, uh, some database abstraction layers mm -hmm. um, that uh, that that help you model your database uh, tables and classes using annotations. Awesome. Um, so your talk tomorrow, are you focusing on? Like how you build your own annotation processing, or just like kind of like the process in general. Exactly. So, oh, okay. So in my talk tomorrow, uh, we're actually going to go through, uh, you know, on slides, uh, but we're going to go through and build an annotation processor from start to finish. Awesome. Um, so the annotation processor we're going to make actually makes builders for any model <laughs> objects. Cool. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Well, great. Thank you so much, Ryan. Um, it's definitely something that I think is super useful, um, both uh, annotation, uh, annotations in, in, uh, in general and then auto value in particular and auto parcel in particular. Um, but thank you so much. And I think um, the talks are gonna, going to be recorded at 360 and Dev, so we'll put a link in the show, no show notes when that comes out. Um, thank you so much, Ryan. If people wanted to find you on the internet, how can they do that? So they can find me on Twitter at rharter. Okay, cool. Oh, also, um, I believe that you are also an instructor for Castor.io and that you have That's a series right. on auto value um, on Castor.io. So if you're um, interested, you should definitely check that out as well. So, but thank you so much, Ryan. Yeah, thank you for having me. Awesome. It will, we were very happy to have you. And thank you all. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.